Hello, it's Mark, and welcome to another oh, Scotch Sunday, Whiskey in the Thicket, whatever we're doing. We're just doing a whiskey review. So anyway, today we have Glenfiddich Grand Cunon. Um, this is a 26-year-old, finished in cognac casks. So um, I've had this. I tried it. Wasn't a huge fan, um, but I am going to kind of pour it. So, you can see it's got a pretty fancy inside there. Got a nice bottle with a nice stopper. Um, I guess I can show it to you and show you the bottle. It's got a lot of fancy gold lettering in there. So anyway, this is Glenfiddich. It's a Speyside single malt scotch. They're produced by William Grant and Sons. They've been family owned since they, since they began. They are located in Dufftown, Moray, Scotland. Glenfiddich means Valley of the Deer, which is why you see their deer logo everywhere. And you also see this other thing of, of Glenfiddich is this triangular, and their bottles all have this triangular shape now, which three sides for the water yeast and barley. One, um, so anyway, Glenfiddich's the best-selling single malt whiskey and the, and the most awarded. They account for about all of, about 35% of all single malts sold. They were founded in 1886 on the glen of the River Fittick and first distilled on Christmas Day, 1887. They have never been mothballed, even, uh, they actually even increased production during Prohibition. They have their own in-house cooperage. Um, during the downturn in the 60s and 70s, they began expanding their market and basically kind of invented the single malt expression, which today, of course, is, you know, the all of scotch. Um, they have 32 swan neck, swan neck stills, and they also have their own cooperage. They have their own cooperage, they have their own coppersmiths. They, have, um, they use a direct filing method. They make about 3.5 million gallons of whiskey a year. So they're like the second most sold of scotch whiskey. They're the best selling single malt. So, okay. Um, so anyway, I guess I showed you the bottle. I'll show it again. So you can kind of see it. I'll show you that inside of the there. I don't think there's any little book, booklet or anything now. It's like a guitar pick or giant for giant guitar pick or something. I don't know what that's for. And then that's what that looks like. So single malt scott whiskey cognac cask finished age 26 years 43.8 percent ABV. Uh, the noblest houses of two refined traditions to send this rich and regal whiskey matured in American and European oak casks for 26 years at the Glenfiddich Distillery before the crowning glory. An extended finish in rare and meticulously selected French cognac casks. The final toast is a majestically smooth marriage of cafe cream, brown sugar, and spice, whilst toasted oak and delicate scents of Passere swirl in the air. The long-lasting sweet and velvet, velvety finishes makes every dram a gilded tribute to true opulence. That's it. Nothing there. Nothing there. That's weird. I, usually, I would have thought there'd be something. I don't. I, that perplexes me. Like maybe I don't know what that's for. Weird. I don't know if that goes on the bottom or what. Kind of interesting, but whatever. I'm going to put it underneath the bottle. So, okay. Gosh. Okay. I can't read you anything else. There's just, there isn't anything else. So, 43.8% ABV. Let's just get into the nose then. I need to roll this puppy. I definitely get lemon, like lemon custard, like a lemon, reminds me of almost a lemon meringue pie on the nose. I get some toasted wood kind of oak. Get that oaky, almost like, it's like, almost like toasted oak. I get a lot of oak. I think I did show it to you, right?
getting malt. Some bre a bready note to this. Some lemon. That, I guess it's like almost like this is why it reminds me of like a lemon meringue pie. It's like the ci lemon citrus and that meringue kind of stuff on the top. Very sweet smelling with that pie crust. Yeah, that's this is a good a good as allergy as I can come up with. Getting honey, custard, oak, malt, yeah. There is a definite um, citrus, a bitter ci citrus to this, bitter lemon. Mm -hmm. Dried oak. All right. A lot of oak, malty. Okay, this is a little better than when I tried it. This may just be need be one that I need to like let sit open. Definitely a bitter, bitter lemon peel, bitter oak. Finishes quick, malty, sweet, lemon. Lemon, lemon peel. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else I get. More honey is coming through. Smells very sweet. It's interesting. It smells very sweet, but it's very bitter on the on the palate. Custard and getting some butter. Sweet spices like uh Hmm. A lot more vanilla is coming through. Very custard vanilla. This is interesting. It's like going, it's kind of all over the place. This definitely, I think, is one I need to come back to. Because even as I come up, each time I come up, I'm getting something different. Something, I don't want to say different, something more, more something else. See, now I'm getting butterscotch. I want, I'm still getting that vanilla and that oak, but I mean, I'm getting a hint of butterscotch in there. It's like, this is really all over the place. Oak, the custard's still there. All right. Hmm. Again, something that smells very sweet, but isn't necessarily sweet on the palate. Definitely more of a malty and an oaky bitterness, lemon peel on the palate. There is a custard there, but it's hidden behind this, this bitter lemon. It's 
there is that it is there it's just kind of in the back well I wouldn't even say the back it's kind of in the middle in the back it's kind of the um, kind of like the cinnamon mm. okay you know this is definitely better than what I had it before now for the price I don't think you need this on your shelf but it is pretty cool to try um, I think I enjoy it more than I did last time I tried it um, but it is definitely overpriced but it's good um, it's good I'll go with that so but I'm not gonna like ooh and ah this uh, so I'm gonna go with seven because it is kind of cool but I don't like going by the price because that's just, you know, relative, you know, what somebody's price point is for, it's different for every person. So going by the taste, it's a seven. It's pretty cool. Um, something I like, I, I like it. Um, doesn't blow my socks off, but it's pretty good. So anyway, all right. Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe and we'll see you next time.